Hi, it's Bill Skladowski from Bill's iPhone Tips. And uh, today we're going to talk about keeping you safe on email and on the internet and avoiding scams and all kinds of other crazy stuff out there. And this, I think, is going to be a couple of different videos because there's a few tips and tricks I want to share with you. Today I have one specific thing to show you that's going to help you identify if an email is a scam. Now, I could make it really easy on you and say, well, if they're asking for money and you didn't volunteer to pay somebody, it's a scam, but that might be a little too simple. So let's, uh, let's dig in and just let me show you one quick thing on uh, how to look at where the email is coming from and some of the ways of thinking about that. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm looking at my Gmail as you can see on screen here, this is my Gmail inbox and I'm just reading it from the website, www.gmail.com, right? Where you have, you can set it up. Sometimes you have, you know, the, the subject on one side and the email on the other and sometimes it's top. That doesn't matter. That's not important. What is important is that when you look at an email and you don't know whether it's the real thing or not, this is going to help you figure that out. Okay. As you can see, and I don't know what the heck PW means <laughs> on this email, and maybe that's a good place to start. Let's uh, think when we see emails that are a little, shall we say, odd in what they're talking about or asking about or how they are speaking to you, that might be a good thing to check on. But this one I just happened to get, literally this came to my inbox, as you can see, three days ago, and uh, it's got an attached document, a text file attached to it. That's what that TXT stands for there. If you don't know what that means, not important. Um, now, normally I would warn people to not click on attachments that are coming into your inbox and you're not expecting them. Now, if somebody forwards you some pictures from their vacation or something like that, or you're in business and somebody has sent you a document. Okay, fine, you're expecting that, you know what it is. Typically, I'm gonna say when you see a, attachments like this on emails, be a little suspicious just right off the bat. It's like, I didn't ask for anything in particular, but I wanna open this one and I wanna show you what it is. So I'm going to double click on this, uh, text here where it says mcafee1.txt. I'm just going to click on that and open it up. And by golly, look, it's an invoice. <laughs> Is it a real invoice? Well, no, but I that's easy. And I want to, again, give you some tools and things that you can recognize when you see these sorts of things so it doesn't just throw you into a panic or, you know, God forbid you actually try to pay something like this or whatever. But this is a trick I've seen, a technique I've seen used by email scammers for about a year now. And let's let's read it and I'll show you what I'm talking about. It says, Dear Client, by the way, it doesn't say my name, it just says Dear Client, uh, thank you for being with us for so long. Your account has been auto-debited with USD 390.44 for the services once again. Never mind that that English is wonky. I'm trying to find a not too terrible word for it, but okay. Uh, we promise to give you the service in the same way, blah, 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 blah. The debited amount of USD, I'm, I'm assuming that's United States dollars, 390.44 will be reflected in the next 24 hours on your account statement. It gives an order number, an amount, what it is, how it's debited. And then, and here's the trick. Here's the thing that is important that you recognize. If you have not made this purchase or notice any error, please feel free to call our customer team today and it gives a phone number. This is the scam. This is where they get people, okay? And how does it work? Because if you didn't know or if you were if you were not sure, I mean, maybe you did have McAfee antivirus or something, security program, whatever. And you're thinking to yourself, $399. Wow, I didn't authorize that. Or 390.44. I didn't authorize that. You make the phone call to their customer team. That is the whole point 
of this email and it is the way the scam works okay i can't i can't stress this enough that just opening and reading this email and then hitting the delete button you're fine no problem in fact i'm going to tell you that's exactly what you should do but let's say for example you call them please don't but out there somewhere somebody is going to fall for this and they are going to call that number and I don't know where the phone rings or what I, you know, who knows where you're calling or who you're calling or whatever. But I can guarantee you this, that one way or another, whoever you speak to is either going to ask to confirm your credit card number so that they can, you know, fix the error of their ways, ask for your credit card number. And you already, I know you're already rolling your eyes. You're like, oh my God, really? Or they are going to do something else such as, well, we need to connect with your computer so that we can remove anything, blah, 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 blah. Looking for some excuse to connect their computer to your computer so they can fix the problem. And well, you've probably already figured it out that they're not gonna fix the problem, that they're gonna probably take over your computer and probably find other bank account information or, or stock market trading or what. I, the list of things that can go wrong with that is too long for this video, okay? I don't wanna waste your time with that because all I'm going to do is saying, nothing good can come from actually trying to call this phone number. Do not do it, okay? So my advice to you would be to simply delete this email, you know, uh, if you're in Gmail like I am, you can even actually push the button that uh, up here at the top where it says you can even block it and mark it as spam and all of that. Not a bad idea, by the way. All right. So here's the one thing I also wanted to talk about, really the important thing, and that's where is this email coming from even? Okay. So Gmail at the top gives you, see right here where it shows the name that it came from. And yeah, if I, if I roll my mouse and click on it, it will actually pop up a little like a little contact card, right? But the important thing is is not the name. I don't, who knows who's working for these people <laughs> or not. The important thing is the email address that it comes from. And as you can see, Joshua Wards 17 at gmail.com. If you, if you can't see that email address that it's coming from, right? See this little itty bitty down arrow right here. If you click on that where it's, and it'll say show details, and this will show you the address that it's coming from, okay? And here's the important thing. If I'm getting an email from a company, like this one is allegedly from McAfee Security. It is not, it's a scam. Don't you think that their email address would probably be a McAfee email address? Don't you think that if it came from Microsoft, it would be a Microsoft address? If it came from Apple, it would be an Apple address. If it came from Norton, which is another popular antivirus program, it would come from Norton. Well, yes, of course. <laughs> so when you see a from address that's one of these generic uh, free email provider addresses, gmail.com, yahoo.com, aol.com, God forbid aol, how long has that been out there? Uh, or any of those other ones that's not a company name, okay? It's it's spam. It's it's spam. It just is. It's junk mail and it's trying to rip you off. Do the easy thing and just delete this email, all right? Just archive, delete. Better yet, come over to the three spots up at the top here in Gmail and mark it as spam and, and block it, okay? And that way you won't get any more from this particular Gmail address. That doesn't mean that somebody else with the exact same scam is going to try it again. But now you know how to check on a couple of important things. Where is it coming from? What is it asking for? What is it asking me to do? Okay. And again, anytime there's money involved, unless you volunteered to pay a company, like I get my you know, receipts from Amazon all the time. Yes, I spent $15 for a, you know, jar of pistachios or something like that, okay? I expect that, I get that. Amazon's not asking me for, you know, $400 and to call them if there's a problem. Believe me, that would be a problem if I spent $400 on pistachios. It's another story for another day. All right, that's all I wanted to do for today. 
I hope this gives you some insight on some of the ways you can figure out that these emails are scams. And again, like I said, 99.999% of the time, if somebody is asking you for money or telling you you already spent money like this and is just saying, oh, if it's a mistake, give us a call. That's a scam. It just is. But I want to give you some more tools and some more ways to think about this so that you can actually, you know, have some knowledge for yourself on this. Now, in the next few days, we're going to have some other emails and some other different ways that things are, you know, scams are perpetrated on people. So stay tuned for that. Um, you might want to subscribe to the channel and we'll be aware of that. If this all went past you quickly and you're like, oh, I wanted to take some notes on about that, do this. Just drop the word email in the comments below. Just literally just type email in the comments and I will see that and I will send you a free guide, just something you can print out and have in front of you to show you and explain to you exactly what we covered today and a few of the things that we're going to cover in future videos as well. Okay. As always, if you have questions or comments, leave them below. I read each and every one. I thank you and I'll see you next time.